Hello and welcome to libraryrevisited.com. So we are going to start a series on Library 7. Uh, blue are the topics that I am going to cover off. So the first topic would be a library installation. Then we will be looking into how uh, how library has been upgraded, and uh, we will be having a quick glance on library. Then we will be looking into uh, what are the new features in library. Then we will be deep diving into the installation and uh, rest of the parts along with the development. So the first topic on the development we will be seeing is Bleed installation. Uh, what is Bleed CLI and how we are going to integrate it with Lifery and then we will be going to start the development. Then we will be seeing how we can uh, develop a bundle or a portlet using a Bleed CLI. Then we will be looking into how we can go ahead and configure the library ID and then, then we will be looking how we can create a library workspace uh, then we will be uh, going forward we will be working on the library ID only and then when we will be looking into how we can create a portlet in library 7 using the Eclipse IDE going forward we will be uh, looking into what all Google commands are available in library then we will be looking into library service builder then we'll be looking into GSP hooks or the fragments. Then we'll be overriding some life free services. Then we'll be implementing some model listeners. And then we'll be taking up the schedulers, how we can implement the scheduler in life free 7. Then we'll be looking into how we can hook the actions in life free 7. Going forward, I'll be uh, having a section uh, in which uh, you can tell me on a particular topic which you want me to make videos. I'll be taking the topics one by one and then I'll be creating videos on that. So that will be all as of now. I'll be posting up the first series tomorrow, which would be life reinstallation, and then we'll be taking it forward from over there. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.